Hey guys, Anthony DiClemente with The Health Blueprint, and in today's video, I'm going to cover four specific things that you can incorporate into your daily routine that are scientifically proven to increase your lifespan, your longevity, the amount of time that you spend here on Earth, but not just the time, your health span as well, the amount of quality life that you have here, so where you're happy, you're healthy, you're energetic, you're passionate. These four things have a number of scientific studies and supporting literature uh, behind them, but rather than go into the details of each study, I'm going to mention the specific habits and then I will provide links to those studies in the text below. So the first is caloric restriction. Michael Pollan said, eat real food, not too much, mostly plants. And he was right on. So when eat real food, you wanna stick with single food ingredients, uh, food that doesn't come in a box, a bag, a, a can, a tube, a jar, and you want to eat food that came from the earth as close to its natural form as you can find it, and that means organic whenever you can afford it. And by only eating as much food as you need to maintain and sustain energy levels and healthy hormone levels, you minimize the production of free radicals and advanced glycation end products. These are metabolic byproducts that are produced whenever we break down, digest, and assimilate food. So those byproducts can accelerate the aging process. And by only eating as much as you need to sustain energy levels and not eating to excess or stuffing yourself, you will live a longer, healthier, happier life. The second item is increasing your VO2 max. So a number of studies have found that people with a higher VO2 max lived longer. And that's part of the reason that I recommend all of my one-on-one -on -one clients work out every morning, ideally outside and ideally getting your heart rate within the target aerobic threshold for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with how to calculate your target aerobic threshold, I'll give you a quick and dirty right now, but I cover it in more detail in some other videos. What you want to do is you first calculate your max heart rate, which is 220 minus your age. So you take 220, let's say you're 30 years old, your max heart rate would be 190 beats per minute. Then your target aerobic threshold is 0.7 times your max heart rate, so 0.7 times nine or 190. And then on the high end, 85% times your max heart rate, so 0 0.85 times 190. And you wanna keep your heart rate, using a heart rate monitor, within that range for at least 20 to 30 minutes every morning. That will increase your VO2 max and thereby increase your lifespan according to the scientific studies and empirical evidence. Uh, the third is taking a low dose baby aspirin every day or every other day to start. So there are a number of studies that show that taking low dose aspirin is one of the fastest ways to improve improve your cardiovascular uh, health. It prevents blood clots. It also works on the mTOR pathway, which is um, anti-cancer, has anti-cancer properties. So the mTOR pathway promotes the growth and replication of cancer cells. And by inhibiting the mTOR pathway, taking low-dose aspirin can reduce your chances of getting cancer. So that's a very easy way for you to improve your health and longevity just by taking a little 81 milligram low-dose baby aspirin every day or every other day. And last but not least, this is kind of the most interesting in that we don't know exactly how it functions, but flossing, people who floss live longer. Now it may have to do with reducing the bacterial count in our mouth, which is associated with uh, heart disease, cancer, and some other modern degenerative diseases. There's a book by Paul Ewald called Plague Time, which uh, correlates many of our chronic conditions of today, like Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, to infectious causation. And by reducing the amount of bacteria and pathogens in our mouth, we improve our health status by keeping our inflammation down and um, a number of other pathways in the body. So those are four habits that are scientifically proven and linked with longevity. Once again, just to recap, it is caloric restriction. So just eating a little bit less, increasing your VO2 max by working out outdoors every morning and improving your aerobic capacity, taking a low dose baby aspirin every day and flossing. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. 
put those four habits to work for you so that you live a longer, healthier, happier life. If you enjoyed today's tip and you'd like me to help you rapidly and sustainably lose fat, maximize your energy levels, and restore your body's natural ability to heal itself, reduce your pain, all of that good stuff, send a text message to 847-989-3743 with your full name. And if uh, provided what we talk about makes sense, how soon you would like to get started, I'll set up a time for you to talk with someone from my team. And then if it makes sense for you and I to get on the phone, we'll talk and we'll go from there. Once again, I'm Anthony DiClemente with The Health Blueprint. I thank you for your time and I look forward to talking to you in another video.